to SNE, which is a ski center, but indoors. So it's basically a huge, huge building on the kind of like on a slope <laughs> and uh, inside it has uh, ski slopes and Langren uh, tracks, so cross-country tracks. I think they also have a climbing wall, like an arctic climbing wall with the ice, which is just crazy. And um, yeah, so basically it's open the whole year. You can go whenever you want, even if it's sunny and warm outside, you can go in and ski, which I think it's really cool. And since there is no snow now in Oslo, because it's actually, it's a really rainy, like stormy day today, very autumnal. Um, they kindly invite us to go there and try the downhill. Uh, so we are very excited because we've never been into like an um, indoors ski center. So let's see how that is going to be like. From Oslo to Snö is quite easy if you have a car, it's like 25 minutes. And by train, it's also really fast. So we're going to take the train there and then walk like 10 minutes there so yeah and it's very early that's why i look like this <laughs> i like to sleep and i had to wake up quite early <laughs> This is the Alpine tracks and up there is the Langren. This kind of like bridges up there. It's the cross country ski. but it was a lot a lot of fun I didn't really stop to talk while we were inside first because it was freezing cold it was so much colder than I ever thought it would be I checked on the website and it said it would going to be maybe like minus one to minus four degrees but it was definitely worse it it felt like it was minus 10 inside. I'm not sure if it's because it's like um, fake and it feels like different from natural cold. I'm not sure. The building was really cool. Like you have an entrance and in that entrance you can see from the glass, like the, um, the tracks already. And you have some um, lockers to leave your stuff and they are like free. Inside the building is quite warm and nice and you have some tables to eat your own food. Then on the next floor you have a restaurant and then on the next one you have a coffee place and another restaurant. For me, what surprised me the most is the type of tracks they have because in the middle part they have like just a normal track and then on the left side, it's a really professional track, quite steep and with these poles. So they would go like around the poles and they hit the poles actually. They have some protection on the knees, if I'm not mistaken, or on the bottom part of the leg. And they hit the poles. I tried to film it, but it was really difficult because people were going so fast. And then on the right side, you have different types of tracks with jumps and platforms and yeah, like like a skate park before ski and snowboard, which looks really cool. 
uh, but super dangerous if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> like us and Daniel tried two of the I don't know what to call that but it's it looks like metal ramps um, and he almost succeeded at first and then he tried again, I didn't film it, but he completely like smashed himself against the ramp. And then he tried at the end, he was managing to do it without falling. They also have a Langren, so cross country tracks, which are the bridges on top, like on the ceiling. So they're hanging from the ceiling. So when you ski Alpine, you're sometimes you go under some bridges and those bridges is where the cross country people are. So there, I think it's like kind of a loop that goes up and down. Um, in general, I think it was a lot of fun, but as I was going to say, it really surprised me the fact that it has so many like more specific tracks, like for training, improving your skills, learning. There were so many people learning, so many kids learning. I think it's a great place to do that. Now I am going to take a very, very warm bath or shower. And then I'm going to put some kanja, which is like chicken soup <laughs> and just eat that because it's just so warm and nice. And then I'm just going to light up the fire, sit on the sofa the rest of the day and embroider. Because some interior part of me is like an old lady and that's what I want to do and relax.